Hi everybody, welcome to uh, LMC 3403, uh, Technical Communication and Sustainability. Um, you can see that every, we're going to run everything out of Canvas. Um, as we get started, how about you click on Syllabus, and then from Syllabus I can give you a quick overview of what to expect this semester. So. Just like um, all 3403 classes, this course is uh, dedicated to teaching you different workplace genres, helping you uh, assess the needs of audiences in order to best respond, and um, to evaluate a variety of complex, uh, excuse me, and always changing uh, communications in professional settings. Um, for a variety of reasons, uh, we are going to be using sustainability uh, as the uh, topic around which to investigate all sorts of um, communication, workplace communication uh, genres. So uh, there are no course texts that you're required to buy. You can find all of the course texts posted in Canvas um, as PDF. Our course goals are rhetorical, process-oriented, multimedia, and include elements of visual and audio design. Um, the assignment sequence this semester are, you have a series of discussions, you'll be required to post, uh, I think, eight blogs in uh, LMC class blogs in a blog feed that you create yourself that I will go over in just a little bit. Our first big assignment is going to be a definition assignment. It's a one-page uh, written and visual excuse me, project where you define a key term that you will likely work with later in the semester. Uh, from there, you guys will be um, put into teams. Uh, your first big project is a proposal uh, that's written in response to an RFP with the expectation that you will define and solve a problem with a website that educates constituents to solicit public buy-in and a locally funded solution. Um, the proposal will include a variety of specifics um, and lay the groundwork for the bigger project or the biggest project this semester, which is the team website. Um, after the, the team website will take seven weeks to complete. Um, it includes um, some collaboratively drafted materials and some materials that you'll draft individually. Um, all of the website writing, excuse me, will be organized uh, via a Gantt chart uh, that you produce uh, as part of the proposal. Um, there'll be a couple progress reports over the, that seven weeks, and then the semester will culminate with a usability report. The evaluation scale is consistent with the rest of the universities. We'll be using this feedback chart to discuss um, our writing products and process. Um, quickly, um, this class is designated hybrid touchpoint, which means that it's going to be primarily remote and asynchronous. Uh, that said, there'll be two touchpoint class sessions on November 16th and November 18th. And that during the end of those, uh, during the end of the semester, those touchpoint classes, you're going to share your website as part of an informal feedback session, and you'll have the option to attend those classes in person or remotely. Neither of which carries the expectation um, of greater or fewer points. So if you need to be remote all semester, you can be remote all semester. I leave it to you to read the um, rest of the policies and let me know if you have any questions. And then you can find an overview um, of the class, um, excuse me, reading and projects in the calendar on the um, syllabus. Okay. If you go to the home page, each class is going to be broken down by week. So every um, week you'll have a week one overview. Um, this week, um, 
I open with a bio. So a little bit about me. Um, I'm a professor in the WCP. My background is in literature, environmental studies, and new media. Um, and I am excited to be teaching this class. So um, one other note, I am going to have office hours uh, Tuesday and Thursday, 11 to 12. And then each week, if you look in the, um, the week overview, you'll find the link to Blue Jeans. Um, you can read this uh, overview of multimodal workplace genres that incorporates um, or uses the cats reading for the week as a jumping off point for the semester at large. Um, here's a quick overview of the week uh, week's work. It's like week work at a glance. And then just let me know if you have any questions. So this week you have one discussion where you can access through discussions right here. And then all of the discussions will be due in two parts. So um, one at 11.59 on Tuesday. Uh, if you would, in f uh, five to eight sentences, respond to the prompt. And then no later than 5 p.m. on Thursday, uh, respond to at least two peer prompts in a few sentences. Um, so let's see, go back home. Uh, where you can find the reading. So we're reading this CATS article on the importance of information literacy uh, that they discovered through um, an assessment. And then we are also, I would also like for you to uh, compose a professional biography and then publish that professional biography as uh, a blog. So quick note about the the blogs, um, as long as you publish it on or before the due date, um, you'll earn full credit. So the blog posts are an uh, opportunity to create draft material and to think through uh, course ideas and, and um, start collecting uh, video and audio to uh, use in the longer projects. So if you have not excuse me, use the Ivan Allen College blogs before, you can click here and it will take you to a slideshow that explains how to navigate to and set up your uh, blog feed. But you'll start by um, clicking on this link right here, which will take you to the Ivan Allen and um, class blogs page where you log in, uh, create a, excuse me, um, a site uh, that will be hosted at, uh, by the LMC, so, uh, which is the Language, Media, and Communication Department. So again, if uh, you just work through these slides, they will show you how to use that, um, that website. And then uh, just let me know if you have any questions. Um, all right, that is it for this week. So, um, I'm looking forward to reading your bios. Um, there'll be an occasion to revise those bios a couple times over the course of the semester. Um, so in addition to getting to know you, the bios are going to be used again in the proposal and then, um, on the team website in the big project, um, at the end of the semester. So, alrighty, um, I don't want to go on for too long, so just let me know if you have any questions, and I look forward to working with you.